So you want to be Zeus, huh? Yeah? Cool. In today's video, I will show you how to do that. But remember, if you do not have your mission ready, in that case, check out my channel for mission setup. It is as important as using Zeus modules. I've covered most common modules and the modules I use personally. I advise you to use the timestamps in the description of the video. Okay, let's go. Manipulation of your camera. Press backspace to hide or show your HUD. There is multiple HUD elements available to Zeus. Press O to show time. It toggles the option. Press K to show or hide your compass. Move your camera with W, A, S and D. To go up or down, press Q or Y. If you want to rotate your camera sideways, use right mouse button. Camera speed is relative to your altitude. The higher you are, the faster you go. The lower you are, the slower you go. If you want to boost, you can use shift to go faster. If you want to get from one side of the map to the other, open up your map by pressing M, find the spot and press middle mouse button to teleport your camera. Zeus also has night vision and thermal options. Toggle through them by pressing N. Default ones are night vision and white thermal. These settings can be adjusted in the mission itself. On the left side of your menu, you've got your edit tab. This is the tab where all the objects from the game are located. You can use them as a shortcut by selecting the unit and pressing F to teleport. Or you may simply edit the unit by double clicking on it. If you would like to take control of the AI, you have two options. You can use the Zeus module. And now you control the unit. The second option is by pressing control and double left clicking. This method is faster. I usually use this one. You can also adjust side relations. Select the module, change your settings and click OK. On the right side, you've got Create Panel. You can open it by pressing R. There is multiple options and features in the Create Panel. You usually spawn singular units, groups, objects, or effects like smokes, flares, or fire support. Or you can use any other Zeus modules. In the first option, Units, you spawn singular objects. For example, one soldier. Waiting. In the Group section, you spawn multiple groups or options. For example, a soldier squad. You can find all the Zeus modules, for example, animations. Select desired options and execute the module. The AI will perform an animation. Common and useful modules. Smoke. Type in smoke in the search bar and you can use smoke grenades. You can also spawn flares that are useful in night operations. You can also create IEDs from any objects or vehicles by simply using the module and placing it on the desired object. Select your options, confirm, and the ID is created. Roger. There is also this very useful module to edit doors and buildings. Select the module, place it on the ground to the nearest building, and now you can edit the doors. You can lock them, open them, or close them. You can also use the damage module. Select the module, place it to the building, and select your options. Another very cool module is tracers, to create a better ambient feeling. Select your desired weapon, select the delay, select your settings, and press OK. I advise you to place multiple of these to create the firefight feeling. There is plenty of options you can choose from. There is not enough time to cover it all. I advise you to use the search bar and type in the keyword you would like to find. It might find the module you might be looking for. Or there is another option, simply browse through the options. Time management. Time management is done by Zeus module. Time acceleration and skip time. If you would like the time go faster, use the module time acceleration. Place it down and select the acceleration of time. Watch the time to speed up or slow down according to your settings. 
You can edit the already placed module. You can also stop the time completely. Or you can place a new module. It will override the last module. If you do not want to wait and you want to skip to a specific time, use the skip time option. Place it down and select your desired time. The time changes instantly. If you do not like your weather or you would like to change it on the go, you have two options. The default one, which is just simply named weather, and you have few basic options to choose from. Cloudy, overcast, rainy and stormy. You can also adjust the fog level. The changes are instant or may take a while. If you'd like to set more advanced weather, use the change weather module. It will open up your menu and you can adjust your settings to your liking. Be aware, these options may not update. It depends on how the mission is set up. The mission may override your Zeus settings. If for some reason you need to create the respawn during the mission, you may also do that with the Zeus module. Select the side and place the module. It will spawn a notification and the respawn will be created for the side. In that case, you may also need a teleport option. Place it down, name it, this pole will now act as main base. I will create the new spawner. And now you can teleport between these objects. They are all synced. You can also place a teleporter inside any vehicle. All of these upcoming manipulations can be done for all of these objects. AI. Vehicles, helicopters, planes, boxes, houses or any other structures. All of the objects can be moved, rotated and you can also adjust their altitude. You can also select multiple objects to perform these actions. To simply move an object, click on it and drag the object around. To rotate the object, select the object, hold shift and rotate the object. To adjust its altitude, select the object, hold ALT and drag the object up. All of these objects behave differently when their altitude is changed. For example, AI will drop and will take damage. Same for vehicles. But helicopters and planes are different. If you pull helicopter up, it will start the engine and it will be in a fly mode give them commands and use them. This also applies for planes. Cargo objects and boxes will usually fall down. There is also one more feature regarding changing its altitude. Boxes will fall down as an airdrop. Bots will be changed to parachute mode. You may drop one or multiple at the same time. You may also para drop vehicles. Put it up in the sky and watch it drop. But structures like cargo houses or any other structures will stay at the position. When adjusting altitude for anything, the objects will snap to the ground. Double click on the box above the unit to edit the unit itself. You can edit all the shown options. Call sign, that's how the group is gonna be named on the map or a blue for tracker. Skill is usually done in the mission, in dynamic skill option, but you can set it manually. Formation, you can change the unit formation. For example, file. The unit will move into the formation. Files. 
behavior, we've got multiple behaviors, careless, safe, where, combat, and stealth. A lot of people do not use careless option, because the unit will not care about anything. They will comply with your orders, but they will break the formation, and they will not engage the enemy. This can be used when you want to remind your players that the enemy is still nearby and they should focus on the mission. Set the enemy to careless. Set the waypoint. And the vehicle will perform a drive-by. The bots will not engage. This can also be used for a helicopter. In the save option, the AI will break formation and they will be feeling safe. If they spot an enemy, they will engage. But until then, they will move slowly and they will not care. Where is the most common one? When the AI is looking for the enemy and is prepared to engage at any time. They will keep formation and engage enemy according to the combat mode. In combat mode, your AI will take cover and it will take them ages to comply with your orders. Regarding stealth option, do not bother using it. I have never used it. In combat mode, you define when the AI should engage. Mostly, you will be using forced hold fire, so the AI does not engage at all. Open fire keep formation, or open fire. Difference between open fire and open fire keep formation is that in open fire, the AI will not keep formation and will split out. I usually use this in CQB scenarios. You can adjust the unit speed. I usually use limited for close air support from helicopters and full speed for helicopter transport. You can also adjust the stance manually or set it to automatic. You can also adjust AI settings individually by double clicking on the unit and the menu will pop up. You can edit its ACE traits these options also apply to players, and these options will stay until the player disconnects from the server. This can be used as a quick fix in the case you forget to set it in a scenario. You can also set the AI loadout by opening the arsenal tab. It will open up an ace arsenal, and you may use it accordingly. You may load the loadout, or change any settings you would like to. Weapon, vest, uniform, anything. You can also disable or enable abilities. For example, moving. The AI will stay still and will not move. Roger. Unit management. If you'd like to add new members to a group, or remove actual members, or combine two groups into one, or destroy the group completely, you have these options. All of these options are done with pressing CTRL, selecting the desired units, and dragging your left mouse button. Drag it to nowhere to remove the unit or units from the actual group. To merge it back into the group, select the unit and drag the option to one of the members. If you would like to split the group completely, select all the members and drag the option to nowhere. If you would like to create the group again, select them and move the option to the squad leader. If you would like to merge groups, simply select the entire group and move the option to one of the members. The groups will merge. Unit vehicle manipulation. There's multiple options how you can put AI in the vehicle. First option is by moving the AI directly onto the icon of the vehicle and releasing your mouse button. The AI will teleport into the vehicle. Second option is by selecting the unit and right clicking on the vehicle. On the way. Two. Gunner, get in that vehicle. Understood. They will slowly get inside. If you would like the units to get out of the vehicle, 
select the vehicle and press G. All of the units will dismount. Orders. The simplest order to give you the simplest order to give to one of your members, the simplest order to give to your AI is the move order. Simply select the units and right click to move them somewhere. The They'll move to your waypoint according to their behavior. Once the destination, they will stop. If you would like to set multiple waypoints, for example, follow this road, hold your control and right click to the points of interest. The AI will slowly approach each one of the waypoints. If you would like unit to patrol an area, simply select the unit, hold control, place down waypoints and at the last waypoint hold alt and it will create a circle. The AI will now follow all the waypoints indefinitely. If you would like to delete one of the waypoints, simply hover your mouse button over the waypoint and press delete. It will remove the waypoint. If you would like to set up patrol easier, use the patrol area module. Select your options and press OK. This will create an automatic waypoint system. There is also multiple waypoint options. For example, you can use your helicopter AI to lift an object and drop it at the desired location. Simply select the helicopter, give them a waypoint, double click on the waypoint, select task for example lift cargo and the AI will perform the action. Then you can set a waypoint to drop the cargo. You can also give an order to a helicopter to land so your place can get out or you can manually unload the AI. Open up the waypoint and select the land option. If you would like to have your AI engaged with the enemy, simply create a move order on the enemy and right click. The enemy will be revealed and the unit will move into the combat mode. Same applies for the other side. Artillery. You have two options. You can do live fire with the AI by using create target, use the module, place it on your desired target, name it and use module artillery fire mission. Place it down on artillery that's gonna be used. Select your modes, go to target module, target, select your target, units, how many units should be involved, select your ammo type and select how many rounds should be sent. Click OK. Estimated ETA will be announced. And now wait for artillery. Second option is by using the fire support module. Select your option and place it down on ground. Now wait a second until it arrives. If you would like to spawn multiple, select the option, hold control and left click. There is also a gun run option. I do not use it often because I do not like it. Select the module, place it down, select your options, click OK. An actual plane will be spawned in the area. Objectives. These objectives can be used for creating a simple mission. For example, attack and defend. Select your options and a new task will be assigned. Standing by. I advise you to browse through the options as there is many of them. Very useful module for creating more immersive scenarios. Interior fill. Place it down to the nearest building. Select your options. Select your radius. Level of detail. I do not like adding them to my camera, so I will disable this option. Allow damage. And click OK. 
It will create objects or defensive objects according to the building type. It's always random. Now the interior looks better. If you would like to garnish some units, you can do it manually by simply placing them wherever you want. Or you can do it out of Garrington option. Select Garrington option, place it on one of the units, select your options, teleport units or not, dynamic patrol, so the units will patrol around the area, and click OK. Watch them to be teleported. If set in settings, they will actually move when the enemy is present and they will try to engage. Right mouse button menu. If you click nowhere, you've got two options. Teleport Zeus, to add or remove objects. Currently, we'll remove objects. I cannot edit this object anymore, so I will add him back. If you right click on the unit, a menu shows up. There is plenty of options. For example, smokes, formation, behavior, combat mode, and so on. You can heal the unit. You can handcuff the unit. Or you can copy the loadout. You can also paste the loadout to other units. I advise you to simply list through these options. There is plenty of them. If you would like to, you can place down markers on the map. Go to the markers tab, select your desired marker, place it down on the ground, and it will show up on the map. You can also adjust its text, color, and transparency. And the last option you will be using is the end scenario option. This is how you can end the mission.